Cat Synth TV. Hey everybody, Cat Synth TV, and today we are looking at a couple of the modules from Bukla's Red Panel series. The 158 Dual Oscillator and the 156M Control Voltage Source. The original Bukla 100 series was commissioned by Morton Sabotnik and Ramon Sender of the San Francisco Tate Music Center in 1963. Don Bukla envisioned an instrument composed of modules that could create entirely new sounds and modes of performance separate from traditional acoustic music, an approach that came to be known as West Coast Synthesis. Unlike the work of Moog and others that focused on subtractive synthesis with voltage-controlled filters and traditional keyboards, Bukla's approach centered around adding harmonics to simple waveforms using wave shapers, wave folding, and AM and FM synthesis. The Red Panel series is based on Don Buchla's original designs for the 100 series modules, and uses discrete analog components to approximate the sound and behavior of the originals. The heart of the system is the 158 Dual Oscillator. It has two independent transistor-based waveform generators, and controls for pitch, frequency modulation, and waveform. You can sweep continuously between a sinusoid and a sawtooth wave. As one can see in the scope, the sawtooth isn't quite a sawtooth, and the DC offset is rather variable, but this is part of the character and charm of the original. There's also an input for frequency modulation. We can use the output from oscillator A to modulate oscillator B. Changing the frequency and wave shape of oscillator A has a dramatic effect on the timbre of the sound. We can even go crazy with A and B cross-modulating each other. As mentioned earlier, we can switch the frequency control from the built-in knobs to the external CV sources. We can use any CV source we want to control the frequency, but if you want to use a keyboard, sequencer, or other pitch control, you'll probably want to use the companion 156M. The 156 is a dual control voltage processor that can mix scale and offset CV signals. There are two versions, the 156 that closely follows the original design, and the 156M which is modified to play nice with other Eurorack modules. We have the 156M here, and we will attach its B channel to oscillator B of the 158. On its own, you can use the offset control to send a constant DC signal. Mm -hmm. 
We will attach the pitch control from our Mini Boot 2 to the left input and set the mixer all the way to the left. We can now tune the attenuator and offset to approximate a traditional 12-tone scale. Like the original 100 series, these modules are not tuned and pitches are always going to be approximate, but that is part of the musical charm of this series of modules. We can mix multiple CV signals. Here we mix an LFO-1 from the Mini Brute. We can use the A channel of the 156M to control oscillator A on the 158 as an FM modulator. Sending the pitch input to both oscillators creates a more musical FM sound in my opinion. The last element is needed to fully play our red panel modules as an instrument. We use the noise engineering sync boosina as an envelope and low pass gate to shape the output of the oscillator into musical notes. We're now ready to play the keyboard and sequencer and expressively change the timbre in real time. We hope that you've enjoyed this look at the Buchla Red Panel 158 and 156M. To find out more about these and other Red Panel modules, please visit Buchla.com and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Check out more at www.catsynth.com and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.